Hello and welcome to my channel. This is going to be an art talk type of video where I'm going to talk about a specific topic but at the same time I'm going to be playing a time lapse of my drawing of Ragnar so that you can watch that while I talk. The topic of today's video is going to be digital drawing versus traditional drawing. Traditional drawing on paper. This video is not going to be what you think it's going to be because I don't want to compare the two so that I can say that one is better than the other. Uh, my goal is not to say that uh, one type of artwork is better than the other or that, um, for example, traditional artists are better than digital artists or the other way around for that matter. And there is something else I wanted to focus on and this will be a little bit difficult to explain but um, if you just give me a, give me a chance I'm going to try to explain it. I think that um, I think the traditional artwork, traditional drawing, painting is actually better for you as an artist, meaning that it's healthier for you. So let me explain. First, I'm going to say a few words about my background because I've actually done both. I've done both uh, digital drawing and, as you can see, I do a lot of traditional drawing here for my YouTube channel and elsewhere. So, um, when I first got my computer, I, uh, and that was decades ago, obviously, I, one of the first things I did, I did a few illustrations in uh, Corel Photo Paint, and those were pretty detailed uh, digital drawings for my level of skill at the time, because I was completely new to computers. I drew some animals first, and then I drew some characters from movies. It doesn't really matter. I honestly don't think I even saved those uh, images anywhere, but I think they were pretty decent. But after that, I've uh, done uh, a lot of computer graphics while I was modding computer games. I did a lot of texture drawings and things like that. And some of those things were a little bit more involved, a little bit more creativity than others, but like I said, I did, I've done a lot of computer graphics, I've done a lot of digital drawing, and I have a lot of experience using those programs. I've even actually experimented with uh, not just uh, drawing uh, textures and things like that, I've also experimented with making 3D models and even played around with some animation. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, one of the things I've noticed while I was uh, while I was doing the compute computer graphics thing, and I was I did that for years. I was very dedicated to those projects, and one of the things I've noticed was how completely isolated I would get from the outside world, and uh, it, it was only years after uh, that I started to wonder why that was so because I've noticed a difference once I switched to drawing on paper, the traditional drawing, I've realized that it's completely different and I never really thought about it but I realized that I somehow felt better. I felt better both psychologically and physically and uh, I had to think about it for a while because I didn't really have an answer why it was so because I would do computer graphics and it was uh, satisfying and um, uh, I was really into it, but uh, w when I made those breaks, I would feel almost like a sort of a depression or disorientation because I was so isolated from the outside world because uh, you spend so much time at the computer that you forget about other things. You almost forget about uh, some of your basic needs and you definitely uh, socialize with people a lot less. So why is it so? Why is uh, traditional drawing better in that respect? It's better because it requires more physical and uh, psychological effort. You see, people like me who work with great tenacity and almost have some obsessive uh, traits, personality traits, uh, we can spend literally hours doing something and uh, invest a lot of energy into it. When you're doing traditional drawing, it kind of forces you to make breaks and go do other things. 
With the digital drawing, it's a lot easier to spend a lot more time in front of the computer screen because everything is at the, at the click of a mouse. Everything is uh, really easy. I'm not saying the digital drawing is easier uh, than uh, traditional drawing because you still require a great level of skill. It's easier because it's easier to use the tools. And it's also easier because uh, the mistakes you make are not as much of a problem. You can easily delete, erase, go back to previously saved versions. You can experiment without any consequences. When you're doing traditional artwork, you don't really have that. Uh, it's uh, Those mistakes you make can sometimes be good, sometimes, sometimes they can be fixed, but often they can be costly because you make a mistake and then your artwork is ruined and you have to start over and you feel terrible and that's what forces you to work uh, with, with a much slower pace, taking more breaks and um, no matter how focused you are or how much tenacity you have uh, or how strong you are psychologically or how persistent you are, you still have to make those breaks because you have to rest this is especially the case when you're doing things like uh, portraits because these, these can be really intense because you, you want to try to achieve likeness and you have to worry about the proportions and details and things like that. And if you make mistakes, that can be a problem. And you have to work at a slower pace uh, because you get tired both physically with drawing your tools, using your drawing tools, but also psychologically because of all that focus and uh, maybe even some anxiety and tension that you feel uh, because you don't want to make a mistake. You, make, you have to make those breaks and when you make those breaks you go and do other stuff. You go outside, you go stretch a little bit, you go talk to other people, you go talk to your family members, your friends, you go maybe watch some television, you go outside, you do some sports and things like that. So. Um, it's more difficult for you to neglect other normal things that people do every day. When you're doing digital drawing and computer graphics, it's way easier to just stay in your room, stay in front of a computer screen, because you don't get tired as much, not just physically, because everything is done with a click of a mouse. Uh, you can keep your focus for a longer time because uh, those mistakes are not uh, so much of a problem. You can save, you can delete, and um, you are much more relaxed. And the whole process uh, goes more smoothly and more easily. And that's, that's what really makes digital drawing so bad, because it can be so addictive and you can spend so much time uh, doing something and uh, <laughs> when you lift up your head from your screen, you just realize the whole day has gone by and that's actually pretty terrible so i have to tell you even though like i said i respect uh, digital artists i've been one of them i've done that for years i respect digital artwork there's some wonderful stuff out there uh, traditional art traditional drawing and painting has its advantages it's it actually has some healing properties I think psychologically and physically uh, and um, it's just uh, it's just a more natural way uh, of uh, creating art and it's just a more natural healthier hobby in my opinion uh, of course if you are aware of this and if you are able to find some moderation uh, when you do digital artwork and when if you're able to do other stuff that's great but that's just one of the things that I've noticed and uh, that's just the reason why I think uh, traditional drawing is better for me and the other reason why I think it's also better is because obviously there's also there's always that physical drawing that you create and that gives you that extra satisfaction that you've built or created something with your own hands and you can hold it, you can examine it in real life when you're holding a piece of artwork in your hands that you've spent hours creating with your dirty charcoal hands it's just a better feeling overall. To sum up, uh, I guess 
digital drawing isolates you more from the real life and real people than traditional drawing does because traditional drawing tires you out a little more rapidly and forces you to seek active rest and to try to recharge those artistic batteries I suppose. So that's just my opinion uh, let me know what you think once again thanks for watching also don't forget to check out my other videos and for more content you should check out my Patreon. Thanks for watching I'm gonna see you in the next one bye for now.